Good evening everybody, how are we all doing? It's Friday evening in the UK if you're from over the pond or somewhere else in the world. And uh, this evening we are doing a Meet the Maker. So we have our gorgeous Vicky, as you can see it says Meet Vicky. And her lovely logo up in the corner there, which Vicky you can't see lovely. But it oh has, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it says creations where I come up. Where ideas come alive in a little white box. It took me a little while to sort it out, but it's there now. <laughs> Happiness. So do you want to tell us a little bit about you before you show off your amazing stuff? Um, I'm a mum of two. I work a full-time job for the NHS and in my spare time, if you call it spare time, I run um, <laughs> my business. Um, so originally I started out making cross-stitch pictures. Then I moved on to card making, and now my love kind of lies with jewellery making and making gifts. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm just checking my life. <laughs> I just thought I'd just check, because you just never know with Facebook, do you? Never know, because it's been yeah, playing up a lot lately as well. It has. It yeah. has indeed. Yes, we're fine. Cool. So, um, and you've, you've been doing a little hobby as well, I've been seeing, haven't you? With your oh, is that the diamond, the diamond art painting stuff? I've seen them around, they're gorgeous. A few yeah, people do that. What I, what I try to do, because as I say, I work full time and then obviously run my business, do bits for Heartazan. What I'm trying to do is have a day a week, usually a Sunday, where I just switch off from all of that That's and great, just yeah. do something else that isn't, um, you know, part of my business. That's a great uh, idea. So I'll start doing this, um, this diamond painting is it so, relaxing? It's what's alright. Is it relaxing? Um, it is, yeah, but it's it's very similar to cross stitch, which I started out with. So it's it's a bit like colour by numbers. So you have letters oh. and uh, gems that are all colour coded, so you have a key to follow. And the actual um, picture itself is covered in a sheet of plastic. And as you peel the plastic back, the the picture is sticky. And then so you, you literally just stick the gems on and you just follow the colour chart. Well, like tweezers, because they're small, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, tweezers are a little tool that picks them up because they're really, really tiny as well. Oh. Um, so it's, it's a bit like cross-stitch, but without the thread and the needle. So They, they come out beautiful, though, don't they? They do, they oh, do. Gorgeous. So I've already got some lined up Christmas gifts from like, my dad and stuff like that. Because oh, my dad yeah. um, collects a lot of dragons and things, so I've done him a dragon one for Christmas. And so, that's handmade um, by you. I love uh, yes, it. So. I love it. I love handmade stuff, as you obviously know. <laughs> I always want to try, every now and again, I just find something else, and I think, oh, do you know what? I'll just have, have a little go at that. I'll try it and see if I like it or not. So You could sell <laughs> that's, them. That's what we do, though, isn't it? We start off with one thing, and we progress and go on to different things. And you could sell them as well, because they're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So... What have you got to show us tonight, then? Right, I've got a few exclusives tonight. I know. Oh, I should have done an exclusive thing. <laughs> it's okay. Straight after, we have a meeting, uh, guys, if you're watching us. We have a meeting, and we just done a meeting and then jumped on, because we are professional. Yeah. Aren't we? <laughs> and, and actually, the items I'm going to show you today, although they're exclusives, um, they're things I actually made quite a while ago, but never kind of had the courage to put them out there to sell oh, only wow. because I didn't think they were good enough um but now I've looked at them more and more and I'm thinking well do you know what no they're really unique and um yeah, gonna... yeah so I'll be getting yeah. them on the marketplace over the weekend but as you know um currently I make resin pendants and this is one of my normal style yeah. here yeah I had a little experiment um might have been probably last year now and I actually made some. Again, they're still resin. But I made them slightly different in that I put little tiny seed beads in with the resin. Oh, so wow. you get a totally different effect. So whereas these ones are quite smooth and flat to feel, these ones are actually textured because they've got little tiny beads in, in the resin. Pull it back a little bit, Hern. I've got so many bits on my, um, maybe over a little bit that way. Tall. That way? Yeah, that's perfect. That way. Maybe help if I put a sheet of, hang on. Help if I put a sheet of white paper on. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There's loads of 
So that's beads. Little, little tiny, but they're called seed beads, and they are really, really minute. Oh, that's cool. And when I made these, um, I did half get in a mess because you're trying to put them in the tray and then put the resin around them without them moving too much, and they were all sticking to my fingers and <laughs> all kinds of things. So again, they've come on a chain. So here's another one that I've done, um, which is a mono monotone one, so black and white. Oh yeah. And it just makes them pop a little bit differently. Oh, your nails so are just, pretty. Just fine resin. And as I say, I made these a while ago as an experiment, and I just thought, oh, I don't think they're good enough for actually. They're, they're absolutely really, really beautiful. And again, they come in all the different shapes that I do. Um, so I've got um, this one is an oh, um, like an egg. I call this an egg shape. So that one's got all the different blue beads in is it. Hard sand colours. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so I'll be getting those on the marketplace over the weekend once I've took some photographs of them because I've got no uh, photos of these ones. Oh, they're gorgeous. Um, and again, this one. This is a shape I've not done before, I don't think. So this is a... Square one. Oblong one. Yeah, kind of. It's a bit shorter than... That's pink. It's a bit, short, a bit shorter than this one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Pinks and greens. So I've got loads and loads of little seed beads, so I'll probably be experimenting more with those now as well. So that's that's those. So and what, then so what last did, year, what, I made some tree decorations. But I made them a bit late in the day to actually get them advertised and things. So people have probably seen these around before. Because I think there are a lot of crafters that make these. So they're the little... No, oh, I love those. Hanging tree ornaments. Oh, they are beautiful. And I do... I haven't got loads of these. I've probably got about 10 or 12 of these in different colours. And again, so they'll all be one-offs because they're all different. Absolutely um, gorgeous, Vicky. That, so that one's in the red, reds and golds. Oh, I was going to ask... I need to ask you how much you sell things for because people need to know this. How much do you sell? Do you know, have you got a price for your... Um, Necklaces. I haven't. I think the pendants will be um, around about. I might do them as a special offer. Um, probably around fourteen to sixteen pounds for the new ones. Lovely. Hi. Normally my, pen, normally my pendants start from sixteen. To, they go up to about twenty pounds. Oh, we've... Um, I'm not sure about the tree decorations yet. Probably three or four pounds, depending on the size, because they're different sizes. That's a good price. So, and then this one, I love this one. Hi, it's Dale. Like, Hi, Angela. Thanks for joining us. I, I see this is like the ice. Oh, it is ice like ice, ice, isn't it? Yeah, so it's the it's the blues and the, the creams. I want to say like frozen, but not frozen. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what I think when I see this one. It's yeah. kind of a frozen one. That's really lovely. Three, three so, yeah, I've got those in uh, different colours. I've even done them in your more unusual colours. So I've got another one here. Just got pinks and purples in it. Oh, I love that. Just to be a bit different. Yeah, I love that. And everyone has their trees Pink. all different colours, don't they? That, yeah, people do eat different colours, don't they, each year and mm. things. So, so that's those. And then the last thing I've got to show you is as i say i used to make cards years ago um and i've still got a stock of cards that i've never sold so i should be putting those on marketplace as well again oh, they're all idea. kind of um one-offs so i've just got a book here to show you um so i've got one here which is like a like a fur coat with oh, sheet laid yeah. on it they're in a cellophane bag, so you might get a bit of glare on the camera. Yeah, no, no, it looks fine. And then um, this one here has got best wishes on it, and again, it's. Um, you might just want to bring it. Just might want to bring it back a little bit. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly. And the butterfly on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. And again, all my cards are one-offs. You no know, two are the same. The same as my jewelry. So I just like I like all my items to be unique. Is every single part of your jewelry one-off? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that. Yeah, because with resin as well, um, you never know what you're going to get with resin. 
So you can because then when you, when you pour it into the tray, that's what these um, these are called trays. Yeah. So when you put this in, in, they're a bit like you know when you have a leak with water and water just travels its own its own route. Yeah. That's the same. That's the same with resin. The only way you can manipulate resin is with like a cocktail stick or something. Yeah. So you're never going to get two patterns the same. So I probably would never be able to recreate that again. Might what be something awesome similar, gift. but definitely the same. That's an and awesome I've gift. Always you, the same. You get I've always that. done the same with my cards as well. All my cards will be different. So you're guaranteed a unique card yeah. that you wouldn't just go and buy in the shops. Hi, Gina. They're all my That's um, um awesome gift you can give that to someone and say no one has that yeah that's, that's a it. one of a kind that's all right trina thanks for joining us lovely we've just been showing off um some exclusives you're gonna have to show show her that uh, monochrome one that's my favorite oh my uh look vic has got some new stuff to list on the heart i keep calling it stuff new beautiful items to list <laughs> On the, look at that. That's just gorgeous. It's re, it's the same thing as a resin um, necklaces. And um, you do bracelets, don't you? And I do bracelets. Yeah, I've got no new bracelets at the moment though. But you do all that, don't you? And um, she's put seed beads in, and uh, I think that's awesome. Is it got a texture? Yeah, these have got a texture. Oh, see, I so fiddle we... with that. With if that was, I fiddle with things. I they're not they're not rough, but you can just feel that obviously where they're a bit bobbly, because it's you've still got some smoothness because of the resin, but you've just got that little tiny bit of texture instead of it being totally smooth. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. What an awesome Christmas gift that would make. And I like this is my favourite one because I love autumn, so this one's got oranges in it. Oh, hold on, I've got the. Uh... Oh yeah. Did you show us that one? No, I didn't show you that one. You kept that one back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's really gorgeous. I love the heart. I love it. It's absolutely lush. And then I'm hoping to do some more the weekend because I've got um I've got to take my daughter to a college open day tomorrow. Um, but then hopefully on Sunday I'm going to get the resin out and have another little play and see what else I can come up with. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll jump you back on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two, the next instalment of uh, your beautiful creations, which is where you've got your name from, I suppose. Yeah. Tell us, um, tell us about did, your name. Course, I did a course years ago. I think it was back in 2011. And it was actually a, a qualification in papercraft at the time. And one of the modules was we had to, because obviously I didn't have a business at that point, but we had to pretend that we had a business we had to come up with a business name and you know what it's like when you've got to try and come up with a name you could sit there for months and months and months and try and come up with something and I've just at the time I hadn't planned to to start a business it was just a name that I created for this this module that I had to do and I thought well I like to make things I have ideas and I like to make them come alive so that's where the, the name creations where ideas came alive come from and then when I started my business, I just stuck with it because I, I thought I don't want to sit and go through that whole process again no. of trying to think of a business name. And sometimes I do sit here and think, well, actually, it's a bit long. Should I change it? But I've had it for so long now, I just think, no, oh, don't. well, just keep it. No, <laughs> just don't. It's an absolutely <laughs> awesome logo. It's memorable. It's a good name. I love yeah. it. It's some that, there's some that you really get drawn to and you remember, and that's why. Yeah. I love the heart. See, I am heart. And I love the creation. It's so lush. Thank you. We've got a few people watching. A few comments on it. You can't see them, but I've been putting them up on uh, the screen. I've been commenting, fortunately. So no, but I've, been, so I've been putting them on. We've got Trina, Angela and uh, Dale on, which is lovely. Oh, love that. That's so cool. And you do make them come alive, Trina says. Oh, thank you. It is so cool, isn't it? And it's just the most beautiful gift, I think. I think with Christmas coming now, and do you know what? It's four weeks, isn't it? Is that all it is now? It's the date, 23rd. Yeah, 23rd. Oh, scary. So we've yeah, got, right. I don't know, they'll be thinking, people will be thinking about um, last posting dates. I know I am. We're going to be um, posting them up here. I think we should do that, you know, this posting people's last dates up. Uh, yeah. It's not long at all, is it? It's 
No, it's not. So, so I need to, I need to uh, get cracking and make sure I've got everything that I need as well. And I've got lots of things on order from all the various heart stand shops. So uh, yeah. I just need to make sure I've ticked things off my list now that I've covered everybody. <laughs> See, I don't do lists. I don't do lists because I lose them. So I just do it in my head. And then, like, a week or so before Christmas, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Because my kids have to have the same, and that's not for them, that's for me. I like to have the same amounts as much as I can, you know. I've actually got stuff wedged in the bottom of my wardrobe at the moment, so every time I open the doors, I have to make sure stuff doesn't fall out. So I'm like, oh, yeah, push it back, and that's for seven, seven, that's for seven, so yeah, that'll do for seven, seven. <laughs> so I've yeah. started to collect the kits, and then I'll, I'll just allocate them to people then as well. Well, it's just, it's just so quick. I, uh, we probably say this every year that, you know, Christmas comes yeah. around absolutely stupidly quickly. And for crafters, because it's the busiest time and stuff, and we've got our own family stuff, and I don't know about you, but there's all the school stuff happening. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's all coming through, all this stuff that's got to be done, they've got to be there, and it's just like, oh, my God. It's not so bad for me now because my two are both in senior school, but... It's still all, like, now, because Leah's 16 and she's got her GCSEs next year, it's all the open days and the open evenings uh, for Korea. And that is just manic the last couple of months. And it's like, crazy, you know, trying it? to keep that in as well as being at work and everything. It's just... And trying to engage her in the process as well. Because, obviously, yeah. she doesn't know what she wants to do, like any of them do at that age. They don't really know what they want to do. No. So. It's taken me, like, 40 odd years to find out what I want to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't change it. You lose your list well, too, Trina. Yeah, I just I try and put well, on my phone. And I everything. was quite crafty because it was her birthday last week, and as I say, she was sixteen. So I bought her cam, bought her her camera, so that she can take my product photographs. <laughs> and why not? And why not? Hi, Debbie. We got Debbie on. Who just says hi, Debbie. I can't see one. But hello, Debbie. Thank you for joining us. Are you here? Oh, hello. That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but um, Angela is listening to Christmas songs. Do you know what? I, um, I'm getting a bit Christmassy, and I, I do love it. I absolutely love it. And um, there's a Christmas on the car. There's a Christmas radio station, and it's just Christmas tunes all the time. The kids get it, and they're like, Really, man? I'm like, well, it's only four weeks. <laughs> it's usually when it hits the first of December, then I get that little surge of excitement. But until then, oh, I'm doesn't... feeling it. I am feeling it. I just, I want to get everything done, but I won't. Debbie Benton, I didn't see her. Did she comment, Trina? Sorry if I missed your comment, Debbie. Can't see it. <clears throat> but it might be on the phone. See, it's different. Hasten, <laughs> Trina says. It's different on the um, actual screen, I think. Technology is not that great. Uh, Although I do love this. This is my baby, I love it. I love bringing on you wonderful ladies and showing off all your products. Now I'm just checking the comments. Cool. No, I can't see anything. Oh well. If you did, Debbie. I apologise. Yeah, I'm not replying. And if you didn't, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your Christmas look like then, Vicky? What do you do? Uh, I usually just stay home with kids. Yeah, that's what we um, do. They may go to their dads at some point, but um, it's usually near a Christmas or tell, you know, they'll say to me what when he wants them, um, depending on his plans. So, but yeah, I'm usually spending it with kids. That's what it's all yeah. about, isn't it? Yeah. And that, that way, then, we can just have Christmas dinner whenever we fancy. Um, so I tend to have Christmas dinner, like, mid-afternoon. Oh, I do that. I don't have it, like, you know, 12 o'clock or anything like no. that. So I usually have it about, I don't know, about 3 o'clock. 2, o two 3 o'clock, like yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. We just stuff our faces yeah. with chocolate in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have to do bacon sandwiches. Oh, do you? No, I, we don't do breakfast. I have in the morning and then nothing until we have our Christmas dinner then. Oh, and then we yeah, pop we stuff our faces on the night with uh, chocolate. <laughs> Angela says kids make Christmas, they do. 
They do. We're gonna have to uh, perhaps we should have a bit of fun over Christmas and bring Madmins on and tell them what um, what they're having for Christmas dinner and doing stuff like that. Just do a few fun things once the doors are closed because we're gonna have to do something, aren't we? To be quite cool, won't it? I still want to get someone else on. Have we done it yet? I don't know if I've done that yet. I can't remember if we get three of us on. No, we haven't yet. We was going to, but we didn't. Yeah. Coming to you for crimbo dinner. Are you coming to, Trina? Are you going to Vickers? <laughs> You're more than welcome. Hartisan Christmas dinner. <laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Well, it's a shame we don't all live closer to each other because we could then. We could just all have a... Huge, Part big, partisan. That'd be so cool. We'll do it one day. We will do it one day. One day we'll do that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. And it's nice that some of us have actually gotten to meet, haven't we? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If anyone's watching this, we are a partisan family. We absolutely love each other to bits and we support each other. And uh, yeah, we've all met up. Not all of us yet, but we will. Angela's bringing the crackers. Fabulous. I'll bring Can't the, have Christmas without some crackers. I'll bring the vegan stuff. And uh, who's going to bring the alcohol? <laughs> I need alcohol. I don't, you know what? I don't know if this is... I don't drink that much. I do. On Christmas, I do. I don't drink much at all, but at Christmas, I, I do. I say, I usually get a couple of bottles in at Christmas, but that's a bad idea. I don't drink the rest of the time, generally. Yeah, I, um, I don't know if all mums like this, but it's such a... And with crafters as well. And all parents and busy Christmas time with all stuff going on. By the time you get to watch your Christmas dinner and you dish it all out, you're not hungry. I do, yeah. I do that every year. I pick at it and then I just drink the wine. And It's because of all the stress and the build-up to it, isn't it? That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, Angela's the same. And I yeah. really like the Christmas dinner and I end up putting it in the fridge and having it the next day. I do that every yeah. year. Yeah, every year. I never eat it. I just like... Oh my god! Oh. I need a drink. <laughs> Trouble is, it takes so long to cook as well. You sit down to eat it; it's devoured in twenty minutes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a bit to crack do of dawn, getting that turkey in. I'm lucky my partner cooks. Oh, that's awesome, Angela. Oh, that's Send him round to ours. You yeah. cook ours as well. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm not sure if I'm cooking this year. I've got a feeling my daughter might be. That would be awesome. I'm sure she might be. More and more people now actually go um, have Christmas dinner in pubs and things, don't they, now? And they book restaurants and yeah. sit up themselves. I've done that once and I didn't like it. No, I didn't, yeah. It was, I only had two kids then, so it's a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, we went and it was just, I don't know, it just wasn't the same. We thought it would be a great idea, no washing up, no messing around, but... No, it didn't, didn't do it for me. <laughs> that atmosphere, is it, than when you're there with, you know, in your own home? Yeah, you, you just do what you like, uh, can't you? Yeah. Me and Andy share the cooking, so you should. <laughs> See, I'm not the best cook either, so... Are you not? My, my kids just have to eat what I put in front of them. <laughs> I, I do a mean roast, but that's about it. <laughs> I burn everything else. I burn chicken nuggets. I burn pizza. <laughs> but I must admit, I'm, I'm pretty good at a meat and two veg dinner. Yeah, I, I'm not a baker. You know, one of my friends, yeah. she's awesome. If you're on Sharon, if you watch this, she watches this sometimes. She's awesome. She bakes everything, makes fudge cakes, and she's. I can't do that. I just can't do that. I'm not a baker. But I, I, can, I can cook all right. My mum used to do it with me and my sisters when we were kids, and we all had um, specific roles when we decided to bake cakes. And I used to just like eating all the cherries because they were my favourites. <laughs> but it's not something I've really done with my kids because I'm not as I'm not a baker. But uh, my mum, no, me. No, my mum, my mum and my gran did loads of stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's not me. Uh, and she loves it as well. I don't even like it. Somebody just let's have something. We're we're sparking some conversations here. Let's have happy a look. Christmas memories. That's what it is. It is memories. Believe it or not, I used to be a head chef. That's Angela. Wow, Angela. Gosh. Vicky, my sister, can burn a salad. <laughs> <laughs> that's Trina. <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm absolutely... Uh, I think that's awesome, Angela, that you're head chef. Head chef. I had a, um, I had a friend that um, was a head chef. For the uh, 
very uh, posh royal family. Mm. Yeah, so I think we've probably uh, discussed Christmas a lot, have we? Probably have. See if there's any yeah. comments on there. I can't wait. Do you still do all the stocking? Uh, does your kids believe? No, they probably oh, don't. Do no. Do you know what? Oh, there's another comment there. Did it for years, but gave it up in 98. Is that too um, illness, maybe? I, um... My twins still believe. And they're the oldest. Like, the little ones. Jacob's like, yeah, right. Well, your, your twins are 13, aren't they? Kian's 12. And I think it was only last year he found out. Well, they've been in secondary I'm school for two years. Now. It's usually secondary school, isn't it? Yeah. And they've been into... This is their second year in secondary school. Exactly. Good evening, Victoria. We're just walking around around Christmas now. Like, so I told him, and he well, was like, really? really? And I was like, yeah, and he was like, okay. He wasn't bothered. <laughs> Amber was chatting the other day, and she goes, I'm going to make my list for Santa. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and she said, well, <laughs> Santa always brings the sacks, and you get the, the uh, main, don't you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's all right, I still believe in it. It's lush, it's really lush, but I'd have thought it was the little one that <laughs> didn't. But I, I love the stockings and I love sneaking about and I love ringing the bells and doing all that stuff. That's the yeah. bit. I absolutely love that. I wonder what I'm going to do when um, they don't believe anymore. I'm still going to do it. I am, because I've been doing it since I was 16. Lady, and she's got, she's got older children and she still does... Um, does it for all her kids, no matter how old they are. I think I don't have so, to. She still, she still does them like an advent calendar, but she goes and buys all the little gifts and she makes her own ones with little things in. And yeah. she still does it all, no matter how old they are. All my kids have got um, stockings and sacks that I've made them. And yeah. It gives me so much joy. It really yeah. does. I have. I, I just love it. Not cooking, not so much, but do you know what I mean? I um, just chuck it in, it's fine. But I actually yeah. love that bit. We have a little tradition where they have the Christmas Eve boxes. Yeah. And um, we sneak out. And usually Molly is like, oh, I've got something. And she'll leave it behind. And then we come back. And there are pyjamas and all that. You know, all that sort of stuff. And we sit and watch the film. They go off to bed. And then I ring the bells. And they all come home to me on my bed Christmas morning. No matter, I mean, I've got four of them on there now. And three of them are big. <laughs> but they still pile on. Dog. The dog's stopping you as well. Yeah, they have stockings. I know it's all crazy, but um, it just, it really does give me so much joy. You you're like making, it. Every year, aren't you? So Pardon? Keep, you're making memories every year, so that's what it is. It's the magic, yeah, isn't it? It is. I think that's what we've had some uh, comments here. Uh, Stress-related depression. Oh, lovely. And that's obviously what um, brought you on brought you into crafting. We're gonna have to get you on here, Angela, my lovely. It's magical. It is magical. It's tradition now, Chrissy, so you've just gotta keep it going. I do, I do. And I ring those bells. And I don't know if anyone remembers a few um a few years ago there was this something went over. The space thing went over. Oh yes. Do you remember that? We yeah. had the most amazing view of that, and it looked like Santa's sleigh. Really? Oh, oh, God, give me goosebumps out. thinking about it yeah. now. We all rushed out. I had all the family that night. So that was my oh, grandsons and everything. And it just really looked like it. it was like... And the kids were so excited. Memory they never forget. They still talk about it. That is brilliant. Yeah. I suppose we better get off. We're probably uh, 30 minutes nearly, Vicky. Hello, gosh. Yeah. They must forget chatting, that's it. They can talk Facebook. about anything. <laughs> Facebook likes you to go live for about 20 minutes because they start sharing it out to people. So um, if you're just catching us, go back and watch the replay because we have showed off um, Vicky's absolutely gorgeous makes. Absolutely gorgeous, unique, one of a kind. Let's show them quickly before we go. Let's have another go. I'll show you another one. Oh, we've got another one. Show. I don't think I showed you this one earlier. Oh, wow. And that's Christmassy, man. The green one. Yeah, that's Christmassy, isn't it? That's very yeah, festive. Yeah, it's got little, little oh, uh, show it, show beef it, in. Show it to the side if you can, Vicky. Like, I turn won't. it on its edge. 
So you. Oh, oh yeah, you can see it there. Oh, it's lush. That's got some depth and um. Yeah. You know what I mean? Substance to it. Beautiful. Yeah, they almost almost sparkle, really. I suppose. They do sparkle. Catch that kind of it's a bit with the beating, I think. And you send that in. How do you send that out to your customers? Um, all my pendants come gift boxed, um, so they're ready to give as gifts. Um, I also offer a length, of, um, a choice of chain length in three different lengths, so you can have a 20 inch, 22 or a 24 inch, depending yeah. on how long you like I your I like quite long ones. I don't yeah. like it too tight around my neck, but that's personal preference, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I tend to think, um, well, yeah, it is personal preference, but I tend to have kind of these bigger ones on either a 22 or a 24 because then they just sit a bit over you know over your tops and things yeah. like that so um but yeah it's personal preference you need to uh, get them on maybe sharing them everywhere because they're gorgeous yeah. they are still plated um but within your box you get care instructions a cleaning cloth so that you can keep the, them nicely polished and also in the lid i put an anti-tarnish tab which has stops them from discoloring so it's recommended that when you've worn it and you put it back away, you put it back in the box rather than just throw it in the jewellery box. Otherwise, over a period of time, they will go discoloured, which is why I include the cloth and the care instructions as well. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. What well, awesome presents. So anyone watching, get one of those for your mum, sister, wife, auntie, niece, yourself. friend, <laughs> yourself. Yeah, absolutely one of a kind. I I didn't realise that. I just thought, I don't know what I thought actually. I did, I just if that makes sense to me now that <laughs> they're yeah. absolutely different. But I thought you might have a lot of range or something. I don't know. No, no, they're all okay. every single one is unique. And again, with my bracelets, they're all um, they're all different. And again, they all come gift boxed. That's awesome. So you're going to list those. Yeah. Them, get them on the marketplace, and people can just buy those. You'll deliver them yep. all ready in a box. You just give them to your loved one or yourself. Amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Let's have a quick look. Anti-tarnish tabs are amazing. Victoria knows them. <laughs> Andrew said that's a brilliant idea. Ah, oh, Trina, we love you too. Trina says I love us both oodles. Oh. Right, we're going to get off. It's uh, 20 past nine on a Friday evening. Isn't it? I'm going to chill now. I'm a little bit tired. Are you going to chill? Yeah, I'm going to chill. No crafting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, Trina, you're on a Saturday night, aren't you? I know we have Sunday off. I'm pretty sure you're on a Saturday night. Am I on with you on a Saturday night? I can't even remember my schedule. You still on there, Levy? Is a little today. Let me know anyway. I'm pretty sure we have the Heart as Anne headlines on a Saturday, don't we? I'm sure she said yesterday she's on Saturday. Yeah, I'm sure she does. I'm, I think it's Sunday off. Me, me Monday and Friday. Isn't, isn't she doing the nine o'clock one tomorrow? What the after dark? Yeah, is it? She'll start at nine and she'll do the normal headlines and then followed by. She might I'm well pretty... do. Trina, if you're wanting me on, give me a shout, love. I think but... that's tomorrow. I can do my pictures. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming or coming. Thanks for uh, being on with us, Vicky. That's okay. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.